what is going on guys it's Sook and i am back with a brand new video on super duper tech and in today's video i will be showing you guys the results that i got when benchmarking the 2017 10.5 inch ipad pro so without any further ado let's hit the titles Now the first benchmarking application that I did run was Geekbench 4. Now Geekbench gives a score for both single and multi-threaded tasks and after it has performed these tasks it will then give a score based on performance and the time taken. And as you guys can see the single core score that I did get was 3954 whereas on the multi-core side of things I got a score of 9279. Now once again using Geekbench 4 I ran the compute test to see how well the OpenGR engine ran through Geekbench and as you can see the score that I got was 27,589. The next benchmarking application that I ran was GFX Bench OpenGL. Now GFX Bench runs a number of different tests which vary from higher and lower levels of intensity. And in the interest of saving time, I have averaged these results, but of course I will show you guys each individual result. Now the average that I got for the higher level intensive tasks was 112.21 frames per second. And the score that I got for the lower level intensive tasks was 80.52 frames per second and of course if you want to see each individual test result then you can stop it at any point now and see each individual result and once again the next benchmarking application comes from gfx bench but this time we are testing the metal engine and just like i did with the previous test I have calculated the average for both the higher and lower level intensive tasks and as you guys can see the score that I got for the higher level intensive tasks was 78.99 frames per second and the score that I got for the lower level intensive tasks was 86.52 frames per second. The next benchmarking application that I did run was Slingshot from 3D Mark and the score that I got for that test was 4170. The next benchmarking application that I ran was the Antutu benchmark test. This tests out different aspects of the hardware from the CPU and the RAM down to how well it performs graphically. And as you guys can see the score that I got was 232,959. And lastly, I exported a 5 minute 24 second 4K file at both HD and 4K. And surprisingly, the times taken for both of these exports was exactly the same as that on the 12.9 inch iPad Pro. And as you guys can see, it took 1 minute 29 to export at 1080p and around 6 minutes to export at 4K. So then guys, that has been it for today's video. I do hope you did enjoy it. If you did enjoy it, then make sure you smack that like button. And if you are new around here, then why not subscribe? If you have got any questions as to what you've seen in today's video, then be sure to leave them down below in the comment section. And if you do want to see what videos are currently in the pipeline, then be sure to add me and follow me on my social media. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.